Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Come quickly, we pray, Lord Jesus, and do not delay, that those who trust in your compassion may find solace and relief in your coming who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am, living in a house of Sodom, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, Tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people, Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you and I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth I will fix a place for my people Israel I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old since the time I first appointed judges over my people, Israel, I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your hair after you sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness forever i will sing the goodness of the lord i have made a covenant 
with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant, forever will I confirm your prosperity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, my Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please stand there. Ancient dawn, splendor of eternal light, sun of justice, come and shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Zechariah, his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his, through his prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hand of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. Pasko na, ilang oras na lang. Sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon, makikita natin na meron tayong Pasko na sapagkat meron tayong Diyos na merong isang salita. Ang tawag natin doon sa lumang lumang lingwahe natin ay eh, palabra di honor. Kaya tawag ko lumang lingwahe na sapagkat malamang si Lolo at si Lola lang may alam ng word na yon. Palabra di honor. May word of honor. May isang salita. At ito ang ipinapahayag ng ating karakter sa Ebanghelyo na nabasa natin ngayon si Zechariah. Ang Diyos merong isang salita. Yung kanyang awit na ibinahagi sa mga taong nakapalibot sa bahay niya sa araw na yon, ay pinapahayag sa kanila na ang Diyos natin merong isang salita. Kaya meron tayong Pasko. At yung leksyon na yon, mga kapatid, ay isang bagay na klarong-klaro kay Zechariah. Si Zechariah po pala yung ama ni Juan Bautista, yung asawa po ni Elizabeth. Klarong-klaro sa kanya yung leksyon na yon na ang Diyos merong isang salita, kaya nga ipinapahayag niya. Kasi at one point of his life, hindi siya nagkaroon ng isang salita. Kaya nga, nawalan siya ng salita. Nalala nyo, bago po siya nakapagbanggit ng propesiyang ito, ng oracle na ito, 
siya po ay napipi ng ilang buwan, hindi nakapagsalita. Anong nangyari? Kailan nangyari yon? Naalala nyo, nung sinasabi sa kanya sa, ng anghel, na yung kanyang asawa na si Elizabeth ay magkakaroon ng baby. Silang dalawa magkakaroon ng baby. Tapos, nagduda siya. Tinanong niya ang anghel, paano mangyayari yun? Ay, tanda-tanda na namin. Baog nga kami. O, nagduda siya, ano? Kaya, siya ay tinanggalan ng boses. Hindi nakapagsalita. Eh, Father, hindi ba si Mama Mary parang nagtanong din kung paano mangyayaring siya ay magdadalang tao? Hindi naman tinanggalan ng boses. Bagamat ipinaliwanag pa nga ng anghel eh, kung paano mangyayari yun. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. Pero si Zacharias, nung nagtanong, tinanggal na ng boses, anong nangyari? Nakasi nga, hindi nagkaroon ng isang salita si Zacharias. Paano nangyari hindi siya nagkaroon ng isang salita? Tandaan po natin, si Zacharias ay isang pari ng templo. Pari ng templo. At bilang pari ng templo, meron siyang akses doon sa mabuting balita ng ating Panginoon. Doon sa scriptures. At alam natin, ano, sa panahon ng ni Zacharias, sa lumang panahon, hindi po readily available ang mga libro. Iilan lamang ang may access. Kaya iilan lamang ang makakapag-aral ng salita ng Diyos. Ay isa na nga dyan, si Zacharias na pag-aralan niya ang salita ng Diyos. Klarong-klaro sa kanya kung ano ang sinasabi ng Diyos na ililigtas ng Diyos ang kanyang mga mahal na tao. Nababasa niya, ipinagdarasal niya araw-araw. Kaya nga ang hangel, Tinanggalan siya ng boses na kasi bakit araw-araw muna nga nababasa? Araw-araw muna nga pinagdarasal na ang Diyos makapangyarihan na sa Diyos walang imposible. Nagtanong ka pa paano mabubuntis ang kanyang asawa? Paano kayo magkakaroon ng anak at an old age? Naturingan ka pa namang pari. Wala kang isang salita na kaya inalisan ng salita tinanggalan ng boses, marahil, para pag nilay-nilayan yung bagay na yon, yung pagkakaroon ng isang salita. At isa marahil, sa haba ng kanyang pinitensya, sa haba ng kanyang paghihintay, para siyang dumaan sa retreat, ano? para siyang dumaan sa matindi o mahabang recollection. Isa marahil ang natutunan niya, ang Diyos nga merong isang salita. Eh, yun yung ipinapahayag niya sa awit niya ngayon. At dahil merong isang salita ang Diyos, meron tayong Pasko. Ipinadala ng Diyos ang kanyang bugtong na anak upang iligtas tayo sa kapahamakan, sa kadiliman, upang bigyan tayo ng liwanag ng buhay. Kaya may Pasko kasi meron tayong Diyos na merong isang salita na ipinapahayag ni Zacharias. Na ngayon, malapit na ang Pasko, marahil magandang irigalo sa kapaskuhang ito yung blessing na natanggap natin. Yung blessing na pagkakaroon ng Diyos na merong isang salita. This, I think, is one thing that is best for us to relieve, to relieve on this special day that hopefully we too, my dear brothers and sisters, would become people with palabra de honor. 
mga taong merong isang salita. And I tell you, ang hirap po hanapin ng mga tao na yan sa panahon natin ngayon. Kaya nga siguro minsan parang hindi natin masyadong maramdaman ang ligaya ng Pasko. Na kasi parang ang daming taong walang isang salita. Eh ang kapaskuhan pa naman dahil sa isang salita. Kaya nga ba diba, sa Angelus yun yung sinasabi natin. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. The word became flesh. Palabra di honor. Paano tayo magkakaroon ng isang salita bilang mga tao? Bilang regalo natin sa Diyos na merong isang salita. Dalawang bagay po ang nakikita ko. Kapag sinabi natin tayo merong isang salita, Ito, ito po yung isang sinasabi ng ating mahal na ubispo ng Archdiocese of Lingayan Dagupan. Yung mga sana daw for Christmas. Sabi niya, sana, sana sa Christmas wala nang sinungaling. Kapag tayo po ay mayroong isang salita, iiwasan po natin ang pagsisinungaling. Ibig sabihin, pupunuin natin ang buhay natin ng katotohanan. Na magkaroon tayo ng tapang upang ipahayag ang katotohanan. Magkaroon tayo ng due diligence upang diskubrihin kung ano talaga ang katotohanan at hindi na lang basta-basta na lamang maniniwala sa mga fake news. Kung ano lang dumating sa cellphone, ikakalat mo na agad. Hindi mo pa nga alam kung totoo o hindi. Kaya tuloy nagkalat ang fake news. In a way, propagating lies in the lives of many people. Pero tayo dapat mga tao merong isang salita. Umiiwas sa kasinungalingan. Pangalawa, katapatan. Katapatan. Tapat! Ibig sabihin, hindi gumigewang-gewang. Pagdating sa salita, pagdating sa gawa, pagdating sa pananampalataya, kung ano yung sinabi, yun dapat ang nakikita. Hindi dahil mahirap na ang buhay, tatalikuran mo na agad ang iyong pananampalataya. Meron ito, merong lumapit sa akin minsan, sabi niya, Father, ang galing po talaga ni Mama Mary ng manawag, ano? lahat ng dasal ko, pinakinggan niya, sinagot po niya yung lahat ng hiling ko. Ang ganda pakinggan, ano? Sa sabay dugtong, dati father sa Our Lady of Perpetual Help ako nagdarasal eh. Pero hindi niya pinapakinggan yung dasal ko kaya lumipat ako sa manawag. Para magkaibang birheng Maria pa si Our Lady of Perpetual Help tsaka si manawag. Ano? And, and, and what my mind was thinking was, paano kaya kung hindi rin agad ibigay ng Our Lady of Manawag? Saan kaya ang birheng na naman siya lilipat? Ano? Tapat. Hindi dahil mahirap ang buhay kristyano, iwanan na natin. That is also having palabra di honor in our lives. Christmas is here. And Christmas happened because we have a God who has palabra di honor. Merong isang salita. Tayo. Pasko na ba sa buhay natin? Meron ba tayong isang salita? Magsi tayo po tayong lahat. Zechariah thank God for being faithful to His promise. Confident of God's graciousness, we now present to Him our needs. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, come and bless us. Lord, come and bless us. That we may learn to forgive one another despite our woundedness and brokenness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, come and bless us. That we may learn to love even when we are betrayed or taken for granted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, come and bless us. 
that we may continue to do good even when we are maligned and misunderstood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, come and bless us. That we may continue to speak the truth despite the ridicule and rejection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, come and bless us. That our departed loved ones may enter into the promise of the eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, come and bless us. Now in the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal and our particular intentions. And we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. Merciful and loving Lord, help us to be strong and patient in our difficulties. May we never lose hope in your promise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously make your own, O Lord, the offerings which we bring, that partaking of them we be cleansed of our sins and married to stand ready with pure hearts for the coming in glory of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. The 
deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng Amen at isubo na kaagad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo hanggang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. 
grant to us who find new vigor, O Lord, in these your wondrous gifts, that as we prepare to celebrate in adoration the festivities of your Son's nativity, so we may possess in gladness his everlasting rewards, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po ay magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolytes, sa ating Eucharistic ministers, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa ito. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwi at nawabaunin niyo pong pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our religious articles. I invite everyone to please pray with me. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.